Now we're going to look at the canter work, and it's a three beat pace, and we're looking for a clear rhythm, balance, and suppleness. So we'll show you the uh, sequence now. So if you watch the horse's canter, you can see the first step of the canter is the outside hind leg, followed by the diagonal pair, which is the inside hind leg, outside foreleg, and the right for the inside foreleg is the third step of the canter stride. As you can see here, the horse has got a clear rhythm, a moment of suspension, and you can see the activity of the canter. And this is the right lead canter. See now the left canter. The right hind is the first step of the canter stride. Then we have the left hind, right four, the second step. And then the left four is the final step of the three beat. And also you can see there's a moment of clear suspension. This would be a, a clear working canter. Again, the good rhythm and uh, suspension. The horse is good, good to the contact and the pole would be the highest point. There, the horse now is showing a collective canter. The rhythm keeps the same, but as you can see, the strides become a little bit smaller. The horse taking more weight behind. The horse keeps the pole as the highest point. And then forward again, Bobby, just show back to working and show a good clear transition there. And then we'll show another transition to collected. You see the horse stepping under, taking the weight behind, lifting the forehand up. And then forward to working canter. Again, then the canter stride gets a little bit bigger, more ground cover, keeping the same balance and rhythm. So here the medium canter, a clear length of stride, good ground cover, but not at the maximum. So it's in between the working canter and then the extended. So, so here we have an extended canter. The horse lengthens his frame, covers as much ground as possible, still maintaining the three beat and keeping the same rhythm and balance.